hey guys welcome back to another video if you're new here welcome definitely subscribe because you're gonna want to see more from me i promise if you're not welcome back to another upload As you guys can see by the title, today I'll be doing a get ready with me to go absolutely nowhere, but I just feel like I want to look cute. So, you guys are going to be seeing how I achieved this look, this high bun that can literally be worn anywhere, and how I achieved this natural beginner friendly makeup look. I tried to make this video as detailed as possible, so... I hope you guys learn one or few from this video and if you guys want to see how I achieve this full look then definitely keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to be starting with is our hair. We're going to catch it in a high ponytail like up here or to your preference. Um, if you guys are hearing a noise, that's my fan because the time is hot. I do get a lot of questions on what I use on my edges to let them stay down. So I use the Ocean Airwax. I normally use it in the number 10, but this right now is number 3. And I use my Eco Style Gel. It's almost done because your sister may use it. And it's the green one. It's the olive oil one. So that's the two things I use in my hair and my edges when I'm doing my hairstyles. So we're just going to start. I'm going to be taking out what I'm going to need for my edges. Yeah. For this ketchup portion, I'm just going to speed up the video because you're basically just sketching up your hair. So this is not really a tutorial tutorial, it's just I do my hair with me. Okay. So right now guys, I'm just molding my hair in the direction with my wax. In the direction I want it to go. So I just take some on my hand and then I smooth it out in my hand middle. And I just put it around, put it around my hairline to just like smooth it down. So I received this clip on ponytail from a company. I really don't know the name but I'll insert it when I'm editing the video. And we're just gonna clip on the ponytail, do a bun and we'll get into the makeup. This is the bun. Yeah, it's really high and big, but I'm not even gonna have it on for the day. It's really just for the video purposes. So guys, yeah, the clip on, I took it off. I don't know what, and I didn't care enough to know what was giving me the headache. I don't know if it was the clips on the clip on, but yeah, no ma'am. I don't care how cute you look, I'm gonna take you off. So I just have my hair at the top. It's not the neatest, but nobody cares. So I'm just filling in my brows with my ear mean. Um, pencil in the shade dark brown So 
so that's for the bottom of the brows guys for the top now i'm going to be taking my foundation shade which is this one so it makes it a lot easier to blend out so if you're a beginner at brows or at makeup itself yeah this is just a easier step to blend out your brows make sure that your brush is flat this is what helps you with your brows that is it for the brows now we're gonna move on to the eyes i want to make the eyes as simple as possible for you guys so we're just gonna literally use um i think one or two colors it's just gonna be bronze and yeah i'm gonna prime my eyelid with the same concealer i used to do my brows you could prime your eyelid with your concealer color or with your foundation it doesn't really matter but yeah we're just gonna prime that and then we're gonna go straight in with the browns so that is it for the base now for the brown we're gonna take our Zulu palette and take the brown shade as you guys see that's the most used shade out of this palette because like who doesn't like a good brown like come on so we're just gonna take that on a blending brush and we're just gonna start blending this brown over our entire eye eyelid so start at the bottom until you work your way up because if you start directly up and start blending it it's gonna be too much into your brows unless that's the type of eye look you're going for but for beginners you start directly down here patting it to get the most pigment out of the brown and then you start blending it out so i'm gonna do one joke i was here right doing my eyes swear to god thinking that the camera was running I talked and I talked and I talked it was so detailed when I look the camera wasn't running and I'm just here like wow that's crazy anyways I added a different brown this is an ex Juvia's Place palette it's this one and I added this brown right here guys i thought i was videoing literally so i just added it on top of the first brown to make it dark for this look i'm not sure if i'm going to be wearing false lashes for my foundation i'm going to be using my nyx in the shade sienna so i actually mixed the nyx with the fit me in 360 it looks like a lot on my face but it's not a lot it's just because i spread it out so i don't have to use a lot take our beauty blender spray it down so it can be damped and then blend the foundation in So the foundation might be looking a bit light well i was supposed to say this previously but it started oxidizing already so it started it started getting darker so if it looks light then these two foundations they do oxidize so they're actually doing that right now as i'm speaking to you guys now we're just concealing with our nars foundation this is in the shade walnut and we're just putting this at the areas that we would highlight yeah, we're just gonna let this dry down as in get a little 
get a little dry before we start blending it into our skin. Okay guys, now we're just gonna sit with our Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Okay guys, make sure that you're not creasing before you start setting the concealer because you will set crease. Now we're just gonna bronze up our face. I'm gonna be using my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. And we're gonna use that to bronze our face. some blush as well using my Zulu palette I mixed the pink and the orange shade so I made up my mind I'm not gonna be wearing any lashes in today's video I'm gonna just be adding some shimmer from this palette this color in my inner tear duct just to give it a little sass let's see so let me add my makeup guys I love this stuff and when I look it's right in front of me and I'm like Bro, you weren't there a while ago when I was actually looking for you. I cleaned off my lips. I'm gonna be lining with the same pencil I used to do my brows. So guys this is it for the makeup look the look is looking it's giving the girls if you guys enjoyed this video definitely don't forget to like comment and subscribe i really hope this video was informative i really don't think this is my most detailed video but i do hope you guys at least learned one or two stuff from this video and yeah if you guys want to see a specific video you would like to see me do on makeup like for instance eyeshadow contouring concealing you guys can comment that down in the comment section and i'll do a specific video for you guys what the face is giving in my people <laughs> yeah if you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe especially if you're new subscribe to my channel thank you Hi, baby.